Hi, in this video I have a new tool. What you see here is just a, I should call it a chop saw, a mini chop saw that I design and build. Before I go to the designing and uh, explaining how I made this tool, uh, let me tell you why I built it. I don't know how often you come across to cut a really hard material such as a stainless steel particularly in a smaller uh, diameter let's say M M2, M3 or M4 I often uh, buy a longer bolt or screws for my applications so later on if I need for something let's say I, if I need a smaller bolt I can cut them in size and uh, uh, use it in a different application and the, but the thing is if you buy a small a small bolt if you need a longer one you can't really do much about it and uh, you need to buy again a uh, different size bolt and use it and there is an issue with that uh, first when it comes to cut a stainless or let's say even a zinc bolt um, the first issue is when you you can't really use the hacksaw it is difficult to cut them through with the hacksaw I used to cut it with the my pliers but the issue again with the pliers is first you damage the thread and also uh, if the material is quite hard uh, you, it, it chip off the uh, sharp edge of the pliers as you can see if you know me I, I have a lathe and I also I find it difficult to cut this material on a lathe and sometimes even my groving tool snap off. I also have a dermal tool. A dermal tool is a good one, but the thing is with the dermal tool, I need to take them off the case and uh, put a new insert on, you know, things like this. It's, it's, again, it's quite time consuming. So I feel like this is the case with me. I do it like at least few times a month. I cut different type of uh, bolt or screws so I feel like I can I build a tool to to do the job and this is uh, my, my new tool and with this tool I can cut all the, up to five millimeter seven millimeter but I built this only for the smaller material first thing I did was taking a measurement from the main parts that, that was required to do the cat design. I had just taken note down. Transfer my measurement once to the cat. So I did one while I'm designing on a cat to keep measuring the parts. The brushless motor has two bearings on it already and but the thing was um, because the belt pulling from one side and mostly the load was at the end of the shaft so it was wise to add a bearing at the end, end of the shaft and uh, the, the uh, important things to do for the end of the motors. First, I finished the, the brushless motor housing. Just to give a quick test, everything was run through, and then move to the next part. Designing the pulleys. Basically, this grinder, uh, this chop saw used uh, four pulleys, and uh, uh, so I used the pulley ratio to slightly reduce the RPM and give a slightly more give a more torque to my design.
the other thing was uh, most of the pulley I made it in a two part because uh, my 3D printer wasn't good I didn't want to put an overhang on it so the, it was quite hard to remove the support and then use my lathe and make them rock and concentric print out the second base which is the pulley housing so one of the aspects of design was to make my grinder to to be to slide back and forth so it, just in case if I needed to cut some plates while they're bored so I can slide my grinding head back and forth over the plate or whatever I'm cutting. For the shaft I used the mild stick. I didn't go for the 3D printed but 3D printed parts because uh, simply it's not strong enough. test slightly filing and put the parts on this is the sewing arm and this is where the cutting is going to be placed on The way I built this, I I did unit by unit. The first unit was motor housing. The second unit was the pulley. So it was the pulley housing. So everything was uh, designed in a way to to have a tight fit to be a functional thing. I didn't want to have something wobbly. There is a two bolt at the front of the, the pulley housing and that basically is a belt tensioner. For the belt I use polyurethane uh, belt basically is a, is a material that easily can, can be cut off, is very strong and the good thing about it is it's just placing the two edge on a heated uh, plate it makes a really strong bond I give a test again I run the board motor and everything was perfectly perfectly in line and then move to the next station The other aspect of the chop saw, I can do a bevel cut, so I can uh, slide left to right the tool, so uh, I design the base on that.
and as I mentioned in my beginning of the video uh, I, I did have uh, a dermal tool but the, the other thing I needed it was like uh, something cordless and portable so I can take it around uh, this device built over 30 individual parts so and the good thing about it is, is I can take each part out and uh, modify it later on if I want to change I can change the motor or I can change the um, pulley ratio If you like the video, consider to give me a like and subscribe. Also leave me a comment below. So I also uh, modified my swing arms and I add uh, another, uh, basically I add up a leverage. A so I can move the swing arms uh, from different points. I put I put the belt on and give a quick test. It, it runs very good. Very didn't have any much wobble into it. It really looks good. And uh, uh, let's cut some material. For the first thing, I, I cut a uh, brass tube. Second piece was was a three millimeter stainless uh, bolt. It cut without any issue. Also, try to do a bevel cut. I slide the tool toward the left and cut through the stainless steel again
well i should call it a success and thanks for watching